This is tutorial four of the HTML5 project. Um, I've so far showed you how to create web pages, how to add headings, horizontal rules, paragraphs, and images. I'm now going to show you how to create a second page and link the second page and the first page together to create hyperlinks, which is obviously a really important feature of HTML. Okay, so what I'm gonna do firstly then is I'm gonna click on the plus to make my second page. So I click plus. And what I type in here in the file name is page two, all one word, dot HTML. And that literally is it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the standard stuff in, so HTML for that page. I'm going to add a head section to it. I'm going to add the body section. I'm going to add some stuff into the body then. So I'm just getting rid of some of these spaces here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just give a generic title for now, which is uh, this is page two. All right. Now, I've got two pages in my Trinket. Okay, so my Trinket website now has two pages. On the first page, underneath where I've put my image tag, I'm just going to put in, oh, sorry about this, I'm just going to put in something called A. Right. You'd think that the, the name of the tag would be link for hyperlink, but it's not. It's A for anchor. Because in the old days, when we first had the World Wide Web, um, we used to have links. We'd surf the web. We put down anchors at particular pages. So you drop your anchor at a particular page as you're cruising through cyberspace. And that's where the idea for A came from. It actually stands for the word anchor, which is another word we use now for hyperlink. Um, there's an attribute for a hyperlink. So we have href, which stands for hyperlink reference. And that is going to be the name of the page, also with the .html at the end. It's really important you put the .html at the end. So we type page to .html. Right, and I'm now going to close that there. And obviously I get the forward slash A at the end. That's perfectly fine. And what I'm gonna do is write some text in between these two bits here. So in between the two funny triangles, I'm gonna write click for page two. And as you can see, now you get that. Maybe, just maybe, I wanna put a, a break between those two, so I type BR for a line break. And it just puts it under there then. Okay, so we've got click for page two. And that should take you to page two. This is page two. Right, now obviously, if we go to page two's code, we want a way of getting back to page one. So we do the same thing again. A, href for hyperlink reference. I'm gonna write index.html, because if you notice, that's what all first pages of websites are called. And Trinket automatically calls it that. All you need to do is right click for page one. Now I can click on that and I can go back to page one. I can click on page two and I can go to page two. 